Today we're going to talk about the centennial of Winona's Municipal Band. Winona's Municipal Band, you may not know, but it is the uh, longest continual band west of the Mississippi River, which is quite a feat considering uh, how many bands there probably were at one time across this country. So uh, we're going to celebrate that today and we have with us uh, Frank and Ruth Burris. Frank, of course, uh, a player in the band, uh, still plays his clarinet, and uh, also Ruth, what? I play clarinet, too. You play clarinet, too? <laughs> All yep. right. And so uh, we've got a couple of clarinetists with us. You should have brought your... Uh, That's how we met. Your, 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 really? <laughs> yeah, yes. we met in mu music school. Oh, how great. What a we're, great story. We're both licensed music teachers. I did not know that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So we've got some very knowledgeable people here to tell us about the, muni the, the municipal band. And uh, Ruth, what? Uh, let's talk first about the centennial. And when do the concerts kick off for this year? The concerts kick off on June 10th, and they will be every week through August 12th uh, on Wednesday evenings at 8 o'clock. And uh, we're planning some special events around the individual concerts, but we are are here to talk about the kickoff event that we've got planned, um, which will be May 20, May, May 16th, 16th yep. which will be May 16th. Um, we discovered in our research that the very first conductor of the municipal band was a man named George Colburn, who prior to coming to Winona had been a a composer that was relatively well known and uh, had been asked to create a score for a movie. Now this was quite unusual because silent movies were accompanied by improvising pianists who would just come in and make mood music that would follow the whatever the action was in the movie. And um, the producer of this Antony and Cleopatra movie wanted something special and so he had George Colburn write a dedicated score. So this is the first time that music was written um, particularly for a movie um, to go along with the movie and the score was sent out to the pianists who were supposed to play it along with the movie. And you mentioned that that is quite rare and it was a big movie too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anthony and Cleopatra. And I know Frank you want to hold up that this is a replica right of the original. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's upside down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a little more legible. Like yeah, so. there we go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a, an Italian movie, long, um, and very silent. But it'll be... Um, so it'll have subtitles since it's an Italian yes. movie? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Yeah. Have, you, have you, either of you seen the, have the movie no, yet? No, no. We're kind of looking forward to it. Um, the, It'll be fun. There is a scholar um, at Randolph-Macon Co College named uh, Dr. James Doring, and he resurrected the score for this silent movie uh, from the Library of Congress, and he put it together and got a copy of the movie, and he is going to be here on May 16th to actually perform the score, perform the music, and show the movie. It'll be at the History Center and mm -hmm. the Wanak Hall, at, uh, and seating yeah. is limited, so... Absolutely um, free. It is free. But we're okay with free will donations, too. <laughs> and we have popcorn. Well, you can't have a movie without popcorn. Right. Fresh pop there. <laughs> so how did you um, make the connection? Was it... Did it, was it known that he had written the score for this uh, movie? Or how, how did you guys kind of come about finding out? Well, we have a, a committee of people who've been coming up with ideas for the summer, and one of the ideas was to look at old newspaper clippings and find out more about the history of the band, and that's where this turned up, um, that this particular connection was made with George Colburn, our, our founding director. And he also wrote a song which we have been able to, um, we've, we've found, was given to us by one of his um, granddaughters, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was called Winona. And we have the um, little review from the paper of the day that it was performed by the band and how the audience loved it and um, how they thought that this would be something that would be repeated and go on continuously. Well, it faded into the background after Colburn left Winona and we were able to get a copy of it and we will be singing it prior to showing the movie. Participation at its <laughs> finest. 
Maybe we can sing this song at every official city event from here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it is kind of uh, very much this, this chords and music of that era. So you can tell it isn't quite uh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> maybe, but you, maybe it could be updated. Uh, well, <laughs> that'll be your job, Frank. Okay. Update. All right. All right. We have a picture of the uh, of the uh, event. So. And this Hearts is Music is, is um, sponsoring Moving the Piano. And, oh, yes, um, very that's generously. A, their large um, grand piano is going to be moved up to Wanak Hall so that it can be performed there. And that might be something you'd like to just sell admission to in and of itself. Uh, yeah. Watch that be moved up. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be brute force. Yes. It is. Yeah, it's quite Then a this is piece. our, our a picture we found of George Colburn. And, and that's this is, uh, uh, Dr. During. Uh, who's coming. And this is our logo. And uh, we just found out uh, that some of um, George Colburn's uh, existing li living family will be attending the oh. first concert on June 10th. Very good. Yep. What else uh, do you have planned for the summer? Is it just, uh, just special music at the concerts? Are there other events like this that'll be held? Or? One thing is we're going to try to have uh, drawings for door prizes before every concert. Huh. And my job is to get those, and we'll try to have one to two per concert. And then, for special events for the concert, uh, the first one uh, will have an ice cream social very kindly donated by Lakeview Drive-In, and it'll be their special root beer floats, True Winona. And <clears throat> then the second concert will be, again, a very generous donation by Blado's Donut Holes from the best donut place in the state of Minnesota. And we have Ferrara Candy that's going to be bringing treats another time for pre-concert treats. Plus, we have sponsors for each of our different concerts who've mm -hmm. donated a generous amount. So we have some oh, money yeah. to work with as we're, as we're doing these events. Uh, we do have a guest soloist who will be here in July. And we're commissioning a new work by one of our members, Eric Hoikashoven, who's a fairly well-known composer in the area. Yeah, our sponsors include Winona National Bank, Peerless Chain, Fastenal, the Edstrom family, because Harold Edstrom was a conductor for right. ever so long, one yeah. of the founders of Hal Leonard Music, and then St. Croix Nets, um, Hans and Carol Madland, and then uh, the Fighton family, in honor of Gladys uh, Delano, who was in the band. 66 years. Not quite since George Colburn. <laughs> <laughs> Emergence Bank and RTP. They're very generous people. And Steamboat Days. They, they are also our mm -hmm. sponsors. Um, yes, Gladys was a legend in the band. I sat next to her for many of those years. Um, she began in 1938 when she was in high school, and mm -hmm. she retired in 2005. Wow. So. We are not the longest term people in the band. We started in 79. There are about three or four who've been in it uh, absolutely longer than we have. You know, it's, it's so great that our community has the rich history uh, that it has. And mm -hmm. Plus, we have the, the musical history in this town. I know oh, yeah. uh, Winona's really becoming known now as an arts community with uh, Shakespeare Festival and with the Frozen River Film Festival and all the other things that go on. But mm -hmm. the Winona Municipal Band has always kind of been the cornerstone of that and uh, everything else is just kind of expanded. So we're just really a fortunate community. And we're blessed because the uh, city is going to refurbish the band shell. Mm -hmm. It's in need of that. Um, it's, yeah. al it's also unusual that the city has um, sponsored the band. I'm reading about the history that went on in the in 1930s, 31, 32 era when the band tax was, or the levy was approved by the citizens and it was um, not unanimously approved, but it was approved and uh, that puts us in a, a different position than a lot of community bands that did not have that support. One special concert is going to be August 5th. It's dubbed Alumni Night, and we're going to have some fireworks afterward. Who's the sponsor for that? That's Merchants. Merchants Bank. <laughs> and They're sponsoring uh, the picnic. Yep, they're having a picnic before and fireworks afterwards, sponsored by merchants, and then... No, uh, sponsored by Steve Sloggy. Sloggy, Steve Sloggy, <laughs> who has We're glad you're here, Ruth. played <laughs> bass drum when the band, a few times when the band marched. 
and this year there will be a representation of the municipal band on a flatbed truck riding in Steamboat Days Parade. Yes, and, and I should mention it's the Sloggy Foundation. It's their family foundation that is, it is. Um, sponsoring the fireworks. So. Yep. so folks, mark your calendar each Wednesday night 8 o'clock it starts. You can come down early and watch the rehearsal if you'd like. And we have uh, the uh, Thompson Hall at Winona State as a refuge in case of rain and other problems. So we will not be, have any rain outs? No. Nope. We, nope. have, a, we have a rain venue. I don't know about years to come, but this year they were very generous and we can go there if we need to. And yeah. the drawings and the treats will be prior to the concerts. So. Yeah, so, so come you on. want some stuff, get there a little early. All right, sounds good. And as always, HBC is going to be continuing its broadcast of the parades live on HBC Channel 25, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll offer some replay times as well. So if folks can't get to the uh, concerts, uh, well, we're very, able to enjoy very them as well. happy that and uh, blessed that you guys have done that so, for a yeah, long appreciate time. Appreciate it. Yes. We're happy to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. So one time, one last time, uh, coming up on March. May. May 16th. Or May. May 16th. On May 16th will be the um, event at the uh, History, History Center, Center, Center where we will hear Dr. Doring perform the musical score and show the movie Antony and Cleopatra. You'll never get the chance to see it again. Probably <laughs> not. Well, thank you both for being here. Thank and you. Uh, best of luck in the upcoming concert season. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean.